Hey guys, ESB here, and uh, today I'm back with the Roblox bed. So you might know that season eight is actually coming, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty much, pretty much kind of excited. But before we, uh, what do you call this? Before we get into the video, I meant, I mean, you guys might have read the title and thumbnail. Maybe, m maybe if I put this on the thumbnail. But yeah, we're going to be, pl we're going to be thinking what will change in season eight. I'm also here by with Reaper. He's he, he his name is technically Epic SpongeBob because he he just has to like switch his you know username pretend to be like me because you know my I avatar. Vault. Yeah, seven weeks. I mean seven weeks, yeah. seven days. But uh, today, yeah, we are technically going to. It's more of a theory video than a you know than a game. So as if we know, if you look at the lobby, um, and maybe Twitter. Oh, Twitter, uh, because Bed Wars actually has a Twitter. Let me search that up. Oh, let me search that up. <laughs> oh God! Roblox Bed Wars is that? Maybe oh, that. Maybe guys, true. they will. We will actually have some clues. Oh man! I am a fake. Clues, or maybe their Discord. So first of all, we all know that the first kit that got remastered slash remade is actually the wizard. I'm not getting like clues here, but like you know, I'm gonna start off with some of the kits for some reason. It is interesting that Bed Wars has to change one of the most used, used, you know, less used kits, and then turn it to a really decent and really powerful kit. I'm just giving chat. Stuff is OP. Yes. Yes, I can agree. And yes, of course, we might maybe in the near future we might actually see some new kits or other kits that may get a remix. So like you know, but I don't know. But like I think the kits were fine. Like maybe just the most ignored kits <laughs> that you know. Also, also yeah, refers. Oh my. God. Okay. Uh, we have I'm a clone. New. Of course. Um. We, I am new. Yes, we're doing this video. Not only for fun, but also, you know. But Wait. also, you know. Oh man, I don't have the title. Yeah. So if I look over here in the Twitter, wow. there's nothing actually, you know. There's nothing actually useful because it just, it just, you know. It, its last tweet is February, February 8th, Season 7. But we know that Bed Wars has a Discord. So if I look. So I, I joined this Discord. I'm not only just like, you know, by looking at the announcements. Hold on. Let me look at this. Announcements. Of course, we actually, you know, have the updates on Bed Wars. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, also, what is my thing here is that we're going to see what is going to be up. Now, of course, we're going to start. We're, they're gonna obviously start removing stuff in the season seven, so to make it more, you know, season eight. Look, this guy also has a eight wood streak. A streak. But before you get to that, before you like and subscribe, it. like and subscribe to you know to actually get some more videos like this. So here's our first obvious theory: the Titan is obviously gonna be removed. So we already know the Titan is gonna be out. I mean, we were really excited for the Titan. I mean, like it would, it is cool to add I was a boss. Expecting it to be huge. Yes, this, it, yeah, this is what we always to expect. Be, to be, to be this like is, that. Not the this is what we expect. This is what we expected. Um, but but um, we just get um. It's about huge. It's like small, four blocks, uh, um, four blocks small. We, we we expected yeah. like a titan that would be like 12 and maybe do some decent more moves but i think this titan's yeah. obviously gonna be removed same with the diamond guardians um they weren't also really useful their only attack is to charge at you and swing that's it that's it so they're, i think we're obviously useful for them. yes yes for upgrades but like they're just more of like loot boxes than you know bosses and mini bosses now, if we look around yeah. the map, there is maybe some other lore in here. Like, you know, if you if you explore the map really, really, you know, really deep. Also, guys, deep. the dodo is dead. And this is the memorial yeah. statue. With a bunny. 
Yeah. There's a yeah. wait. That's the mud. There's that's the body from Island. I know, but yeah, yeah. We, we see. Yes, we know. Yeah, we know. Bad Wars and Islands are connected. But we're focusing here on season eight theory. Of course, the Titan is obviously going to be removed because it, it's not really useful to us. It's it's just a man who just swings his arms. I mean, sm to smash and then acts a force field. It is, has a weird knockback, but like, I'm hope we're hoping that you know. Okay, if I'm looking at all the patch notes, I mean, we don't actually have full the patch notes because the other patch notes were removed. But um, let me see here. Epic. And lots. Do you remember that epic? pirate ship battle yes it was better than the titan we have now yes it, it, yeah this titan is garbage <laughs> i'm just saying guys but everyone everyone can agree next is that we're hoping for the battle pass to be great because the battle pass okay it was really cool i like the idea that adding lucky crates to boost xp and also make the game a little not pay to win and of course when you reach level 20 you also get a free a fourth free kit slot i think they should keep this so like new players can actually experience new new kits, you know, like the kits that they don't have or you can't get anymore. Like you know, like especially season one. Season one has the ra people using season one kits are mostly likely to be rare. Yeah, yeah. Some of the uh, other ignored kits, and I also like when they make bad kits into really good kits. Like I, it, it would just makes the game a little bit balanced. I like games to be balanced but the whole point of a game is to have fun not try hard no sweat just just have fun like even lucky block says it right even the guy in lucky block says it i don't know his name but it it said fun right here why is this thing still here bro why is this big big thing uh, i think they're just tired still okay here. i think they're just tired now uh, okay now of course season eight is obviously going to go with rank but yeah, like see, like before, I think season five is gonna be like I mean season seven, uh, rank five v five is interesting because not only you have like two teams against each other, but like you have less to fight with. Plus um, plus it's pretty good. Now some of the other game modes like Sky Wars. I, wait, did this? I think the Sky Wars. Um, wait, hold on. I think the Sky Wars. What do you call it? The Sky Wars Royale. Kinda got wait, did it got removed or it's just still no. there? It got removed. Ah, okay. I, I think I, I can the, see that. There is the gun game. Yeah, gun game is uh, is very interesting. Gun game. Uh anyways, so now we're we know the you know, the whole week. Anyway, we're gonna look at the battle pass. Uh we don't know the art of it, but like I would if if I have the ability, if I can like draw, if any of you can draw in the comments, I will send my Discord. Discord and we I, and for some reason I actually found a clue. So wait, hold on. This is April. This is act. So apparently, Roblox Bed Wars in the official community said that they're going to have a nightmare skin. So I actually what? what yes, yes we might actually get a night another skin for, for the new for nightmare, what? for for you know night nightmare. So like let, let's see what the kits are candidates for first candidate. I think it would be obvious that uh let's see here the most I think mm, wait I, oh, hold on da. hold on hold on wait, never mind hold on. So I think our first candidate over here it might be Zeno. It is just a new just Zeno. wizard. But not, but like you know, lo often a lot of people use, especially this staff. Next, uh, let's it's see here. Be... Lila, Lila might be another candidate, but I'm thinking that like it since it is Wait. one of the new kits and it's pretty she's overpowered. Like... Wait, epic! She's like the sister of of the beekeeper. Yeah, yeah, we know because Bed Wars have three bee kits. I, I mean, I I could see the Wait, theme. Three. Flora, Lila, also... beekeeper, because Lila shoots bees. Anyways, and last but not least, our last candidate is actually Pirate Davy. Uh, I would edit the video and I'll show you guys what is the picture. But our actual candidate right over here is Pirate Davy getting a new Nightmare skin. Wait, what? Yes, Pirate Davy is getting a new Nightmare skin. I know it sounds leaking, but like it said, it said sneak, 
the uh, I think one of the developers named Asen said sneak peek of the upcoming nightmare skin to reward for the season. And I'd see, I'd say this kid is br look, Pirate Davies kid. I mean Pirate Davies. Uh, what do you call this? Really good. I hard kid. Yes, because uh, a lot of people knows that Tanker. Tanker obviously uses Pirate Davy from this one video that we already know you guys have been using the Pirate Davy as your new dash kit. I've been seeing so many people just dashing using Pirate Davy. Whenever Pirate Davy is free, they always just does that. But I think I, I understand that. Like Tanker fans are Tanker fans. Yeah, and, literally. And of course there is. But the interesting thing is that not only the Nightmare skin skin is gonna be like that it also has other different skins just like evelyn right what we have right now so i think like really good skins skins victorious Ev like Vito victorious evelyn you know it, it it would it would actually you know it would actually what do you call this uh, okay hi john i'm just just doing a video and why is it oh yeah i'm just doing a video john okay uh, so per apparently we got a new kit skin, which is for nightmares. Of course, we nightmares, not night, not actual nightmares, but like you know, nightmare players. Pretty cool because pirate Davy is used a lot. Anyways, we're gonna see. We're, we're also gonna see. Hey, epic! Could you imagine a ranked skin for Grim Reaper? Or not? Never mind. What? So, yeah. That is actually one of our... Right. Okay, yeah. Pretty much it is pretty cool for, you know... Play. It's actually really nice that where Pirate Davy gets to, you know, get a nightmare skin piece. It makes sense that this this man always gets so many like you know attention since when Tanker started using it. Like, I understand it. It's it's really good. But we also might get, of course, we of course we need to get battle pass kits. Battle pass kits. We definitely need like these cool battle pass kits because the battle pass kit right now is okay. It's fine. Uh, so we have first of all, it's we have the drill kit, which is okay. I think it's fine if it's free, but like you get to like read it. Next is Flora, which okay. I I don't want to get the battle pass because I I experience I kind of experienced Flora. Uh, not really great. Umbra. Okay, yeah. Th this is okay. This is what everyone is just like. You know, everyone is just blaming us because if you look over here to tier 50, most of you might know that this tier 50 isn't really the greatest because she, okay, I'm just dragging my mouse into random stuff because she, what? yeah, to, yeah, I mean, yes, it is a really good damage buff, but it's, you need to target specific people. For Aerie, it's, for Aerie's instances, you only target random people. You only, I, th I think Aerie got nerfed. A bit. Yeah, it got nerfed. Hold on, let me look. Yeah. yeah. Let me look if there's any. When I used it, it felt less damage, I think. Yeah, it got nerfed because it was, it was so OP. I, I we already know that area is so OP. Too OP. But anyway, we're gonna. Too OP. Yeah, too OP. We're gonna also wait. But Caitlyn is like you know we all know that bounty hunter how bu bounty hunter works. You have to target specific people to get loot. Caitlyn were into says not only you get three target people, but you also but instead of like loot you get attack, you know, attack buffs like armor penetration and increased decay. But for some reason a lot of you might don't like don't like Caitlyn because Umbra is just like, you know, you can teleport back into base without Yeah. Is is Caitlyn like bounty hunter but She is. She, she is. Yes. And decay. So um, but Umber is surprisingly better because he he gets to like, you know, teleport Kid with the battle pass, man. Let's teleport. Even the free battle. Yeah, I'm surprised that the free battle pass kits are actually really good. 
Flora, okay, it's meh. It's a meh for me, guys. It's a meh for me. It's not like anything crazy, but it's just really meh for me. Caitlyn, okay, a lot of I think people doesn't really like Caitlyn a lot. And of course, no one. Does, Never wait, does your little brother? Does your little brother know? Oh, wait, who's Noobie? Does your little brother know that I'm recording a video right now? Nope. Oh. But, uh, yeah. We actually might know that it is, you know. It is really nice. It is really nice to see, you know. Also, there is, uh, and I'm looking at the fan art, I'm actually interested in a lot of people drawing, like, new, so of course, random kit, quit kits. But, they're also, like, you know, they're also, like, you know, some people maybe make some fan-made kits, which is nice. Which is actually nice. I'm pretty interested also when i'm looking at this there's voice one and for some reason there's people who's called mr b smile one <laughs> what epic you know what would be the best best idea for grim what for grim it using it his his scythe yeah but i said i said of like no no i said oh. i said like they make good kits like they want a balance of kits which is okay i i think i can agree like kits are pretty cool kits are pretty cool since they are the main re the, the reason instead also of his stuff, instead of a yes model. also i don't i don't like the uh se the select create odds right now because you now you only get emotes now which is kind of bad but i think i'm I can and see the that. The doors closed. Yeah. Lock. Yeah, I know. I it would be interesting if the lobby was way more interesting. Like you can like go inside to make it like you know the make a lobby a little bit you know a little bit more RPG. Like you know better words if they're if they're listening to this video. Or I bet not because you know. But uh, yeah, I think this is it for my theories. I know isn't really a lot, but. Here are so far my theories and maybe maybe upcoming stuff. Uh, oh wait, I forgot. Uh, I forgot they might. I don't think they're gonna add balloons back. But I'm sorry, guys. But we're I'm hoping. We're never gonna get. We're never gonna get them back because they're too overpowered. They're not. Oh yeah, be, because they're now you know they now like auto like they auto you know deploy. But yeah. Also. They were so overpowered back then. But now, um, it's okay, it's okay, but I understand, but everyone likes the balloons because, like, you can get a mode to fly. Um, I'm sorry if I'm, like, you know, I'm just nervous to do this. Like, I always sometimes do these in videos, I'm just sometimes nervous. But most of you might understand. But, uh, yeah, that might be my prediction. Okay, so here are so far, maybe the predictions now happen. Making some kits good, removing the Titan and the Diamond Guardians maybe add balloons and maybe like you know editing the lobby and of course i want to for end this with a theme of the battle pass so of course every battle pass has its own team theme kind of like first of all um season one uh let's see here so when i'm looking at the season one kits i always think like you know think like some of the kits are random but 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 I, if I'm looking at Jade Warrior, like I'm looking at both two kits, Jade Warrior, it's more of like a gladiator plus like spiritual theme, like Raven and you know, like a yeah, but... shady like some shady and gladiator themes, like except for Pyro, just just don't include Pyro and Beekeeper Breach, they're just extra, they're just like an extra. Warrior Jade are like gladiators, like warriors. I think warrior bounty hunter i think it's more on shady because raven bounty hunter and maybe spirit catcher i mean she's not really shady but like she summons spirits that's kind of shady but like i think it's like a shady gladiator of course the seasons two has halloween even though jack gompy are halloween only the halloween fisherman and aries are different trapper okay trapper might like if you look at trapper's design it's definitely she looks like she's from she's like dressed for halloween of course season three is christmas we all know christmas best time Rubles of the year where Ari is. yes th yes this is where season three's op kit is 
uh, season four, it's more like a, a little medieval, like a little medieval, or like you know, Forgot starts starts st starts to be a little medieval, or like the Dark Ages. Yeah, the Dark Ages sounds better. I again, we're not gonna include some of the kits that aren't themed, like Alchemist, Conqueror, Corker Wolf, and no Nyx are like you know, Dark Ages. Season five. Uh, let's see here. I act I have no absolutely no idea. I actually no have words. no. Wait, no. Lucia's like pinatas are Spanish. Merchant Marco looks Spanish. It's like more on summer. Like it's more on summer. For season six, okay, that's definitely that is one hundred percent medieval. Look, medieval. Like if you look at all the all five kits, it looks medieval. Well, angelic yeah, medieval. Very... Uh, very dark me medieval. Very medieval. And of course, we got that dragon dude, medieval. And for season seven, okay, we're just gonna s season seven. I I still have no idea. <laughs> like I think, mo my, I think the the wait the the drill guy doesn't fit with the team. Flora, Umbra, and Caitlyn. <laughs> because they're they oh wait I just noticed they're all wearing kind of like yellow and you know they all have this pattern because if you look at the press the kits repeatedly. You know that they actually have like a little color, like color scheme. Like Caitlyn's more in black, yeah. Flora is kind of, you know, like stripes and Umbra. Like I think it's more in gold, but I don't know. I don't know. It's like I just, yeah, like you know, I just don't know. But like if you guys find a theme between these three kits, except for Drill, it, it's not a theme. Uh, comment down below if you guys can find a theme. We already found. So I think season eight will have to stick with this medieval theme, but also I might also think that they will also may made the future kits, you know, the future like a more futuristic, like you know, cyber, like a little cyberpunk, to make the other kits like cyber. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Vulcan, Zenith, Cobalt, you know, some of those like kits that are like tech, more on tech. Like to get give them like a little bit on like the theme on that, of course. But we, but I think mostly everyone is excited for is that Pirate Davy is getting a, you know, a Pirate Davy is gonna get the Nightmare skin, and everyone is just gonna grind in rank to get this Pirate Davy skin. Is if Pirate Davy is free, they're gonna flex on it. They're gonna flex on them people. I'm also I'm afraid that like they're gonna remove like the XP boost, but I think they might make the battle pass long more longer because. Most battle passes start at like uh, 16 months and like, you know, others. But I think this one would like change. Alright guys, th that is everything that we might know that maybe might know in Season 8. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notifications. Also, uh, I may live stream this on Twitch. May live stream on Twitch. But I'll see you all in the next video. Epic Spongeboy is out. Bye guys!